and Wolf. This, uh, I mean, two two top tiers, you know, as as far as uh, the meta is explained. How do you like this one? Um, how do I like it? How do I like it? Uh, I don't know how to answer that question. I don't <laughs> think I do like it. But <laughs> what I do like is the fact that both these players are so attuned to their characters that they both know how to kill each other like within seconds. Mm. Yeah, they both they both definitely know how to put on the damage. Oh, that parry! God, that down tilt is like I'm I'm not used to that down tilt whatsoever. Look at that side B just killing right away, and we're seeing a lot more side Bs. Well, I mean, we only saw the one, but like compared to the last set, I mean, just that's the the, the comfort that Charlie has with his character. He's just so attuned to Wolf, and with those Wolf Flash setups, you know, he's. Gets a, gets a little bit of style points and damage at the same time. Oh, yeah, taking those stocks while he's at it. All right. Now, uh, the down air from from Peach, like I see Razo throwing it out a lot, and I'm wondering if it's going to do a whole, oh, wow, a whole lot to that upbeat. Wow, that upbeat is kind of disgusting. Like, he was able to just clip from, like, underneath. Uh, I don't even know how to describe that. That was just sick. Yeah, and that's why uh, Wolf Recovery is really hard to challenge. Yes, it is. Really is. Okay, the down air, or down tilt, working into that back air. Yeah, getting the DBZ trade, but Razo's still hanging on to his stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, channel your energy. Okay, getting that turn up. And you know, even though Charlie, Charlie King's not really being pushed back a whole lot by Razo at this moment in time, and I get it because Razo is basically he is a death percent. He's you know he's got to hold on to his panties here. Dead. The yeah, quick up tilt. Of course, having so much kill power is such a great option for Wolf. Nice. Yeah, the disjoint. Yeah, Wolf's not the only one with disjoints. Yeah, we got that crown. Yeah, but a quick Wolf Flash is going to allow Charlie to recover high. I'm using Wolf Flash to get back to ledge very quickly. Mm. Okay, I like that. Waiting to see if Charlie would actually fall for the ledge trump. Yeah, um, and you saw that little whiff that Razo threw out, like that up smash, and uh, I'm seeing Charlie whiff a lot less here than Razo. It's like whenever he gets his hits, he's like correctly crossing up with like forward airs. Uh, Charlie's been pretty on point right now. Okay, drop him down. Yeah, Just trying to give the fake out that he's gonna be doing a rising there. Mm. Oh, I see, I see what you mean. Yeah, he definitely is doing that. He's like, oh, I'm gonna get up. Nope, no, I'm not. Yeah, and it's really hard to challenge that parasol too, as well. Like if you do want a, a ledge trap, so you basically just have to be a lot more patient. Like the, the forward tilt, it doesn't look like that's going to work against parasol. Ooh, low profiling with the <gasps> the crouch cancel, very nice. Yeah, that turn up put the fear of Peach into Charlie the King. Nicely done. Okay. Ooh, quick and easy 37 damage. Uh, Razo seemed like he was going a bit on a roll there, but he didn't get a whole lot of carry. Oh, the town. Great pivot grab, and now oh. up smash at the platform. I gotta ask what the logic is on the the, full, uh, the up smash is on the platform. I mean, duh, it's gonna kill it like a, a 111, but he's been just throwing that out like he just knows it's gonna I mean, work. It's a great option because it just, it has such a wide hitbox, mm. and especially like on Pokemon Stadium where those platforms are very small, yeah. it covers the entire platform. That's true, that's very true. Yeah, it's like it almost sucks you in, doesn't it? It does suck you yeah, in right until the last hit, and then, whew, you know, you die. Oh, my God. And it's game over. Yeah, that made a lot of sense. That made a lot of sense. Going on to Town City. Um, I could see why I could see why Razu picked this, because like I said before, Wolf does not really have the craziest run speed on the block, but nor does Peach. But we do have the turnips for days. Good okay. grab. Yep. Into an easy back throw. Easy damage coming out from Razo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Kenning him for his troubles. What are you doing? I'm reaching into the ground for him. I'm going to shoot you. Okay. Getting these cross-ups. Yeah. Razo is uh, not really responding to the cross-ups very well. But then again, you're not really supposed to. Cross-ups are supposed to fake you out. Okay. Oh, flashing from the ledge. Does allow Charlie to escape. You can retake stage control. Oh, yeah. Big time. You know, we were able to equalize pretty well here. 
Nice, and now Rosso's the one with the lead, okay. Oh my goodness, that must, I, I feel the frustration for Razo. Like, oh my god, how many times, how many times is Charlie the King going to be able to hit with that up smash successfully? You know what? All of them. He's <laughs> taking all the stocks with that up smash. That's what he's doing. I don't even see what move Razo did there. Was that an air or back air? Uh, well, that was a dash attack from Charlie, so. Mm. Okay, Dot. And, wow, okay, yeah, I was going to say, uh, Charlie the King's looking a lot more uh, comfortable with his ledge trapping as well, but he was able to kind of got hit. Yeah, there we go, taking that one out so clean. And uh, Razo's only like one or two combos away from uh, making this equal. Hey, there are those down airs. Okay, pretty sweet. Yeah, using the up B to get back to the ledge, very smart. Side B going to allow uh, Razo to really set up shop, go to town with damage. Mm. Every time he goes in for one of those turnips, he just ends up getting blasted. Oh, uh, able to connect the back air. Ooh, that was almost some disgusting trade that uh, Raza would have lost there, forward air into the back air. Okay, nice roll. Changing his timing up a little bit on his ledge getups there. Another neutral getup, but Raza not able to get the punish. Getting back throw for it. Man, I'm seeing a lot of the the back airs from like all of these uh, these players today. It's like they go for the back air at the ledge, and you know they're I think they're trying to condition shield or either just get the kill. It really works either way. Okay, getting that back throw, sort of staling it, but I mean, there. Oh, the tech. Man, I wonder if uh, Peach had a little bit more rage if that wouldn't have been techable. And there we go, taking it out with the back air. Yeah, you don't need untackables when you know you just got the back air that's so strong. Yep, taking you out. Oh my goodness, and the forward airs, man. They just, they send you nowhere, and it's perfect for juggling. It's wonderful at these early percents. Oh, that roll. I don't know if that was intentional. Oh, that looked intentional. He did it again. Interesting. Uh, yeah, like he's trying to get behind uh, Charlie. Oh, man. <laughs> if he got stuck on that platform there. I've seen that kill people. Yeah, but not getting stuck on the platform, making it back to stage, and now... He's setting back to neutral. Oh, getting there into back air. Yeah. I like what I saw from Razo, though, with that aerial drift. Okay. Oh, yeah, trying to pry an option out of Razo there with that up smash. We, they both knew that wasn't going to hit. Trying to see what Razo would do. Okay. Down throw. What are we going to see? Wow. Tr oh, just in case uh, Razo di it in, he, he thought maybe I could get a forward tilt and just take it out right there. Which is a good idea, because if you di in, I mean, you're trying to get back to the stage as quickly as possible. Okay, that turnip, not taking him out. Oh, Charlie King landing another blaster. He's looking for a grab, he's looking for a back air. Oh, he's gonna do a forward throw. Oh yeah. Now Razo forced to recover again. He's trying to catch the recovery wow. with these F-tilts and gets the neutral get up with that tilt instead. Ah. Yeah, he keeps throwing out f tilt because f tilt does hit below the ledge. Yeah. So even if like he takes the trade, Razo would be at the losing end of that trade. Yeah. I mean, like, if I don't think it would uh, do much to Parasol, but, like, yeah, it, it will catch him at, uh, like, the way that it just did. Ooh, boy. Are we gonna Go back to Daisy. I was going to say, like, he doesn't play Roy. Go back to Daisy. I agree. Daisy's thicker and way better, just in every way, shape, and form. And uh, no one can really tell me otherwise. That actually might be a problem, actually, because uh, Daisy literally is thicker like she's uh, I think her hurt boss is just a little bit bigger than Peach's and that's probably why Razo is uh, playing Peach a lot more uh, because with the recent patch they kind of took away the differences with the knockback growth and the base knockback uh, it's not really existent anymore yeah from what I understand they're exactly the same now oh okay that's a shame I like the differences Razo's not too far away. He's really not. He's got the back throw. And you know, those turnips really did come in clutch uh, in a few different situations. Okay. Oh, it, I love how he uses that float. Because he's like, I could cross you up with just a regular normal aerial, or I could just float and make you wonder what I'm going to do next. Yeah, that's the mix up. That's what, you know, gives Peach some, uh, some of her power. Yeah, Peach's potency. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Knowing, knowing just how far he can take that before he, uh, the, her recovery fails her. Nice, that dash attack. Ah, uh, man, that dash attack kills you too, because why not, right? Can even kill you off the top. 
Yeah, it really just depends on what hitbox you get. Yep. Okay. <laughs> There's that platform. I mean, whether or not you die to it, it just kind of, it, it sucks being stuck on there. Oh man, that's oh that's such a good uh, uh, spot dodge from Razo. Didn't oh. really capitalize. I like the nair link between uh, the player. Yeah, same here. Yeah, Charlie really made uh he made lemons out of he, he made lemonade there. I like that. Okay, good dash stance. Oh, trying to end the second stock with the down air, but not able to find it, and now giving us stage control. Oh, that reflector! I love it. I love it. I love that reflector. Caught him with that one though. That's probably. Oh no, not at all. That, okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, clutch ledge traps coming out from Razo. We're gonna even out the stocks. Yeah, he got that stitch earlier too. If he gets another stitch, I'd be very surprised. You know, Razo seems to have RNGs Jesus on his side. I, I've seen him pull out so many stitches and bomb bombs. Oh yeah. No. Wait for uh, the bomb bomb for today though. I haven't seen one today yet. Yeah. Or Saturn. Okay, there's that Nair. Oh, another Nair. That was such what? good presence of mind. What? Yeah, that man. Killed? Yeah, man. Yeah, he's got a really strong little sex kick there. It's, it's pretty, pretty op. Okay. Oh, no grab. That grab would have worked, too, against the counter. Peach used to have, like, the worst counter in four, and then they were like, you know, let's, let's make that stronger. Let's make it, like, the best counter. Pretty sure Little Mac had the best, the worst counter. Oh yeah, it was pretty bad. It was, it, it was Paul down. Tana. There. Paul Tana was pretty bad too. But wow, getting Charlie sent all the way up to the side, getting caught up with the turn because of that wolf flash. Now down there poking at the ledge. Charlie King struggling to get off this ledge. Now <gasps> finding okay. his opportunity. Russell's been doing pretty well with those uh, spot dodges for the most part. And I like, uh, I really like how Razo's being able to get, oh my god, get shot the way that he is right now. Oh my goodness, even like boys in the hood in here. Oh, send that turn up right back. Okay, there's that grab. I mean, I, okay, no, you're not going to die. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Razo's really doing everything in his power to mix it up at the ledge here. Uh, stale throw? Ooh. Yeah, still killing. Okay, yeah, the rage kind of made it up for the, the staleness of that throw. Yeah, Razo able to clean up the second stock, but he still has an entire stock to go. That, that one turn up did 18%. And yeah, Charlie's really fishing here. Mike put himself in trouble, whiffing a lot. Trying to add the pressure, I get that, but. Uh, well, he's landing with a lot of nares and back airs. Yeah. If he's able to poke with the back air, even from center stage, it should put. Uh, it should be game, but. I mean, Really just trying to cross up with Nair as well, but Razo making it very difficult to just land anything on him. Mm -hmm. He continues the dash dance. Uh, are the forward tilts going to come in? Oh, okay. I didn't see how often Raza was throwing out those uh, those options, like those rolls and whatnot, but uh, Charlie was just like, hey, if you do it, you do it, and I'm going to get you. He wasn't rolling too much, but it really comes down to, like, you know, the panic of being in, like, a last hit situation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Charlie understand knew. just like what the the normal human choice would be.